Hello to all boat fans, since today's video will show you how to get this special thingy. And before you get all excited, let's get into the video to see why is this the most useless special vehicle in the game. To get this junk, you need to have chosen an offshore approach for the Meriwether heist. You will also need Michael's Marina slot port. The heist is marked on a map as an H letter by the beach and can be found inside Floyd's apartment. This does not work with the mission replay. I know there is a dinghy in the freighter approach as well, but that is a normal traffic dinghy and not special at all. This one here however in the offshore approach has its middle section painted in a metallic black body color. Meanwhile outside of this mission it's always painted in graphite color. Not that huge difference, but difference nevertheless. Before I continue I would like to give you some friendly advice. Do not get this boat, there is literally the exact same copy of this thing in the mission monkey business, where getting it is very very easy. Meanwhile this one right here, get ready for it, takes you at least a real life hour to be obtained. And it's not an easy task either. The only reason why is this boat sort of relevant is because there is a conversion in the mission the long stretch, which can give any vehicle bulletproof tires including this dinghy over here. Since the last opportunity to play the long stretch is before the mission Hood Safari, you can never give bulletproof tires to the monkey business one, so this dinghy here is your only chance, as it can be obtained before Hood Safari. If you don't care about those useless invisible bulletproof tires on this thing however, there is no point to even consider obtaining it. Just save yourself from torture and get it from monkey business. However, I will still show you the method in case someone out there wants to get this specific one for the conversion. Start the heist and play it normally until you have finished your adventures down at the bikini bottom and pick up the sub with the helicopter. Eventually the enemies will show up and you want to quickly switch to Franklin and avoid the shooting completely. Just leave all four dinghies untouched and only start shooting normally once the helicopters appear. When you take out this helicopter from the back, switch F's position to any door and quickly switch to Michael and turn your nose towards the beach where thingies were. This is needed since once Franklin takes out the last two enemies, game is scripted to delete all remaining enemies from the map, but it cannot do so if your game camera is still on them. From now on, you must fly the cargo bob very carefully down to the bay while keeping your camera on dinghies at all cost. Once your camera flicks away from them, they vanish. Throughout this video, I flew my helicopter using just very gentle control tapping and slow movements. It can get a little boring, but trust me, once you fail this task because of careless camera movements, you ain't gonna be very motivated to try this again. If you reach the bay, this is where all the fun starts. Yeah, we both know that's a lie. You need to break your sub off using water while also keeping your view on thingies. The best way to do so is like I show, however, I suggest practicing this beforehand since we will face a real life hour worth of breaking the sub off with this method and it isn't really fun if you screw it up 45 minutes into the task. Don't break it off too far from the beach since there is a fail range around the sub but we need to fly to the beach and kill all the enemies inside one thingy. Steal it to remove dead bodies and then you gotta hook the dinghy and sub both all the way to Michael's Marina down in Los Santos. Remember this is a long task and you always need to keep your camera on the dinghy, which means you need to fly backwards half the time. This is not an issue though as long as you stick to very gentle movements and control tapping. It is the easiest to keep your camera on the dinghy if you never fly past it with the sub. Break the sub off next to your boat, move dinghy further enough so you still avoid failing the mission and then reverse back to your submarine. Pick it up and repeat the same thing all the way until you reach Michael's marina. You should already get the idea why does this take an hour.
Once at the marina, the worst part is over, however it is still easy to screw it up due to a horribly short fail range around the cargo bob. Drop your dinghy as close to the marina slot as possible and land your helicopter near it to get out. I found that placing it like this on those piers seems to work best. Get inside the dinghy and drive it to the slot. To be absolutely sure that it gets saved, you can reverse back out and drive to the slot one more time. Then you are free to either fail or pass the mission and afterwards your dinghy will still be there, safe and sound at the marina. For the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle not worth it. The monkey business copy of this dinghy is so much easier to get and I don't think this one here is worth giving the invisible bulletproof tires either. So I would safely recommend to just skip it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.